Pause to rest crematorium just outside Carlisle does 40 cremations a week. Don will spend the next 45 minutes supervising Toby's. to return the ashes on the same day as we feel that it helps with the grieving as opposed to families having to wait a week, ten days, whatever, on the ashes to come back and then they have to obviously go through all that grieving process again. It's a very painful day. Hi Geraldine, how are you doing this? Is that too bad? Thank you very much. Thank you. People say to me, you know, are you, are you, are you crazy? It was only a dog. And that happens regularly. It's only a dog. It was only a dog to them. You get pet lovers and non-pet lovers. And people who love pets, they fully understand this. As a trained pet bereavement counsellor, Don helps owners to get over their grief. Today, she's visiting Geraldine. It's been two weeks since Toby has died, and she still hasn't come to terms with his death. Hiya. Hi, Gerald. Nice to see you. So, how have you been since I uh, saw you last? Well, my good days and bad days. Mm -hmm. um, just trying to think of the kind of happy times with them, but obviously there's some days that you get really quite down and mm -hmm. really, really guilty. That, that, that's a, a perfectly natural emotion to experience in grieving is guilt. It is such a Difficult. It's, it's probably one of the hardest decisions that we as humans will ever have to take because it's so alien to us to have to make that decision that is normally left up to some other being or, or mm -hmm. higher entity than what we're used to. And all of a sudden we have, we're faced with this enormous responsibility and knowing that the heartache that we're going to suffer. But we have to put that aside, you know, mm -hmm. your own feelings. Um, for your love of, of, of Toby. Got a picture of you I carry in my heart. Close my eyes and I see you when the world goes dark. Got a memory of you I carry in my soul. Will it close around me when the nights get cold? With your fluffy head against my hand To be here to cuddle, kiss or hold When I'm sad or very scared Not a day goes by that I don't think of you I love you so much For many pet lovers, the thought that their animal is gone forever is too much for them to bear. Rainbow Bridge is their way of dealing with a pet's death, a mythical land where families and pets will be reunited in the afterlife. A lot of people say to me they're running free now in Rainbow Bridge, or they'll be happy, or they'll be reunited in Rainbow Bridge. And basically the story of Rainbow Bridge is that that's where our pets will wait for us. And the day that we pass over to the spirit world, our pets will see us and that we'll be reunited with them.
It seems that where there's bones, there's brass. As a fledgling pet undertaker, Don has witnessed firsthand the changing face of seeing off man's best friend. It's a shaggy dog story that might not always have the happiest of endings, but as a nation of pet owners, the one thing we feel we need to do is to give Rover the best send-off possible to the land of slip leashes and never-ending walkies. <laughs>